Hi, this is Justin Putney. I'm the creator of N5. In this course, I'm going to show you concrete steps to make your documents more accessible. Let's take a look at accessibility and SEO housekeeping things that we can do. We've got our text here. So take any piece of content. You can select something or you can just right click on anything and choose inspect. And you can see that even though this is a heading, it is denoted as a P tag. P is for paragraph. And there's a big header up here as well. Inspect that, and that is also a P. Now, HTML is semantic, meaning these tags have meaning. And one thing you can do to help a screen reader is to have more specific meanings to your tags. So in this case, paragraph is not particularly specific. I mean, you can tell by the class that's been applied, that this is a heading, but we want the tag itself to indicate that. So we can do that in InDesign by applying those tags to our paragraph styles. And I'm just gonna assume that you've applied paragraph styles because you like having a clean InDesign file that's really easy to update. So here are the uh, paragraph styles. I will click in here and see what this style is. So that's the big header style. And I'm going to right click and choose to edit this header. Now within this dialog, there is an option at the bottom called export tagging. And in there, I can change how this is getting tagged. So this is kind of like my second heading. And so I'm going to use H2 for this one. The H's are just for heading. And generally speaking, you should really only have one H1 in your document, but you're not going to get punished for that e either. So I'm going to consider my page title to be an H1. That's actually in the uh, master page. Let me go there and click that. I'll click to edit that. Same thing. I will just set this as my H1 and click OK. And then I'm going to show you one other way that we can edit this that could be faster and easier to see. So I've just clicked on the flyout menu in the paragraph styles, and I'm going to go to edit all export tags. So now I can see these all at a glance. It's much easier. And what I want is to take my small header and make that my H3. And so now I should have some nice structure in there. Let me click OK. Now let's take a look at the output for this one. I'm going to select that heading and right click and inspect in my browser. And now this is an H1. So this is going to be a lot clearer to the screen reader. This is the main heading. And I'll right click on this. This is the secondary header. And of course, down here, I have the third header. So that's going to be helpful for both Google indexing this, and it's going to be helpful in terms of imagine if somebody is being read this page instead of viewing it, they're going to have a better idea of the structure of the page and the importance of the thing because they can't visually see that, oh, this heading is big and it's on the top. That's not really going to come through when it's being read. But if you have this nice markup, they're going to have a better sense of that structure and the prioritization of items. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, if you found it helpful. Subscribe to our channel to see more like this. And hope to see you in another video soon.